Hello everyone, welcome back to our new session of Python tutorial. In this session, I will talk about reading and writing data into CSV file. One by one step, we will discuss here about how to read the data from the CSV file and how to write the data into CSV file. As we all know, CSV is a comma separated value file format, it is one of the very most simple and easy way to store the tabular data. Consider this is a CSV file I open in a Microsoft Excel. It will look like very easy in terms of rows and column. But if the same file I open in the Python editor, you can see these are the values inside it where the first row is about the attributes of that Excel sheet like ID, first name, last name, M1, M3, M2 are the subject marks and the ID and the detail of the students are below the first row. So likewise the data is stored inside the CSV file. So if we look into a CSV file that are separated by commas, now with the help of coding, I will explain the all functionality that we can operate the CSV file. First of all, what we need to do? First of all, we have to import a CSV file into the project or file. So I am going to import a CSV file first inside the folder or inside the project. Once we import the file, then CSV reader function which will read a one by one line from a CSV file. So I will use a function with open and the name of file. So that file is stored in a C drive. So I just write the name of the file, it let's say student1.csv and I want to open that file into a read mode uh, as file so that I can read the data. So I want to read the data row wise. So row and I use a reader function csv.reader function. csv.reader function and I have to read the content of the file and one by one we have to iterate for i in a row I want to print each and every value of that file so just I save my code and I compile it you can see all the data which is inside the file is going to be printed so id first name last name m1 m2 m3 are nothing but the attributes of that csv file has been as a first row and then the data from the second row onwards this is the message that I print after the loop so likewise the data is been printed by using reader function one by one each and every row we are going to see by using this reader function now we can use one more reader object of the file and that is a dict reader with the help of dict reader we can iterate the file in terms of dictionary so keys and value we are going to print instead of the printing all the values one after another so I'll show you that how we are going to do that with open and I have to open the file first so my file is stored in a D drive so I use the file name student.csv and I want to open that file in again a read mode so I just open that file in a read mode as file 1 and again I have to iterate the file row wise so I will use csv.dictreader is a function and I have to read that file 1 and then we have to print one by one entry of the file from the row that is print i for sake of understanding, I just put the comment on this code so that we can able to visualize this code. So now I'm going to save the code and I compile the code. I can find all the data is been printed in terms of dictionary format. So one by one, key and value, key and value is going to be printed. So I can easily now check the ID and their value, first name, their value, last name, their value, M1 value, M2 value, and M3 value. So key and value will be printed by using dictator function. Now next task is to find out certain useful data from the CSV file. For example, from the given CSV file, I have student information and their student marks M1, M2, M3. Suppose I want to find out the number of students are absent for the test M1, how many students are uh, absent for M2 and M3. Similarly, if I want to find out the average marks for the subject M1, M2 and M3, I can easily find out by using dictator object. Now I will show you this through the coding. So what I will do over here, I just use the same file to be open first. All the data should be processed through this row object which will be iterated one by one data we can read from the file and then we can process it. So if I want to find out the data of the M1, if I am just looking the information of let's say subject M1 and what sort of data I am interested, I am just going to find out the data of let's say M1, I want to iterate for I n. Uh, the object is row i uh, in a row and i have to also add a condition if that value from the attribute m1 not equal to uh, sorry not equal to absent uh, this whole data 
I want to print in terms of float so I just use a float so I have to convert it into float and will be printed into the format of list so just I now print the data of m1 so what it will print now we can verify just I save the code and compile it float argument must be a string or number not a generator so just let me change I just make the mistake over here so I just have to close this packet instead of this just save and I compile the code now you can find these are the students not absent so there is no a present for the students now I want to find out the sum of students who is not absent for the test m1 so I can easily find out length of m1 so that I get the number of students are present for the test m1 So 7 students are present for the test M1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and I can easily find out the average as well for the test M1 or we can say the subject M1. So what I'll do, I'll just do the sum of M1 marks and I'm going to divide that marks with length of M1. So now I'll get the average marks for the subject M1. So the average marks of the subject M1 is 41. Similarly, we can find out the marks for M2, M3 in this way by using dictator function. So, hope you understand that how we can process the data by using dictator function and how we can read the data from the file into our Python code. Now, next is how we are going to write the data inside the CSV file. Now, we will perform writing of a data by using CSV writer function. So, first of all, I will make the comment to this code so that it will get very easy for me to write the writer function code so i just save the code and i'm going to write the data inside the csv file so either we can write a data into a csv file or text file by using again first of all i have to open the file where i want to write the data and from in which file i have to write i want to write into the same file c colon uh, i just wanted to write into the school one dot csv file and now instead of open the file into the read mode i want to open the file into the write mode and whenever you write any data new line should be start and as let's say file so this is the code to open a file once we open the file then we are going to process that file now we will create a writer object that i want to write into the file so i just create a writer object writer one and by using a writer method csv dot writer we are going to write inside the file so i want to open the file and that file will be overwrite with the data that I want to write inside the writer object. So what I want to write inside the file, writer1 dot, I want to write a row, so write row and what kind of a row, I want to just mention all the attributes that are under the CSV file. So these are the name of attributes that I want to overwrite. So I just going to open the file and I just mention this name of that attribute. So in double quote, I just write the attribute name. So id, first name, last name, m1, m2 and m3. So these are number of columns are already there in my file. So first of all I want to write this row which is nothing but the attribute name of the file. And then one by one we can add the number of rows as per the user demand. So again we can use the writer object. And I'm going to write the row and now I have to mention the attribute so 1 2 3 is my ID and the first name of the candidate let's say Gokul and let's say last name of the candidate let's say party and let's say subject marks integers 67 78 and 77 so this is the first information that I'm going to write inside the file so again I'll take one more uh, row over here so I'll take the 1 2 4 ID and let's say name is let's say Robin. like this mark or oh, so this is the information that I am going to write inside the file once we add this information and execute the code these records will be stored into the file or it overwrite the data which already exists on the file these two records will be get overwrite on that file so I just save the code and I compile it and once we type this code then we are going to execute the code to check whether that record is stored into the file or not 
I just now once we done the code, we are going to execute the code. You can see there is no console output over here, so that record will be overwrite into the file. The file is stored at E drive, so I just go to the E drive and I just open that file. You can find the two records has been inserted inside the file. As I mentioned, new line. That's why one line break is there after each record. So the same data has been write inside the file. Likewise, we can add a multiple record as well as a single list to store the data by using writer object. So hope you understand that how to write the data into the CSV file by using Python code. So I hope you understand the reader and the writer functionality of the CSV file. In the next video, we will talk about the one of the important library under the Python that is Pandas, which will take care of all the functionality of the CSV file. So one by one, we will process the data through the Pandas library. I hope you like the content or I save your time. Please support the video by sharing with your friends. If you not subscribe my channel yet, then please do subscribe and press the notification bell icon to get the latest information. Thanks for watching this video.